Hello everybody, uh, I'm so happy that uh, I see you in the second episode of this course, Image Processing with MATLAB. This is the part two uh, and uh, is the introduction of uh, our course to uh, Image Processing with MATLAB and we are going to go to MATLAB and um, uh, start some of uh, basic processings uh, please take your time and just while uh, you are receiving a function uh, also use it on your MATLAB uh, and uh, if you don't have MATLAB MATLAB provides you uh, one month uh, uh, try uh, trial uh, so you can install MATLAB on the website and uh, uh, start your course with it and uh, of course you will like it and uh, so uh, you can learn uh, image processing uh, and also with a good application like MATLAB about MATLAB we can say that uh, it is matrix laboratory so uh, this is a software that uh, is based on matrices and matrices um, operations so uh, you will uh, you can search about MATLAB and see how you can use MATLAB in your field if you are studying mechanics electronics computer science or statistics uh, statistics or other fields yeah, you will see there are some toolboxes for you that can help you uh, with easier and better coding and uh, programming using MATLAB for your field. So uh, we want to uh, start uh, so our course. Um, I will just go to MATLAB and I will show you uh, the face of it so um, here you will see that the version that I have uh, is uh, 2021 and um, you see a bunch of uh, icons buttons that you can use um, and because it is not just a MATLAB course I don't uh, explain these maybe in another course but during the course of image processing if we needed something from here uh, of course I will introduce it so something that is necessary is this that uh, you need to create a folder uh, for your codes for your programs like other programs like other coding uh, applications uh, if you code you need to know that uh, you need the directory to work in it to uh, uh, put your files there to save your codes there yeah, if you uh, there's a library you use you need to put it there so and it will be easy and facilitate your work so you can just come here and go to the place go to the folder that you have built for your MATLAB codes so uh, I will uh, go to uh, my directory it should be here MATLAB so this is my previous codes and uh, programs that I have done using MATLAB uh, and uh, uh, so um, if there's uh, if you have images uh, also just put them here in this directory if not just you can search on the web and you can find some images and just uh, put them in this directory and uh, be prepared for your course so first of all uh, just uh, we want to uh, learn uh, the first uh, step is to read an image on MATLAB in this case uh, I can show here so the first thing is to read your image 
you can use im read. This is the function. All right. This is the function that now you are going to use for reading an image. However, like other um, programming languages, you should know that there are some uh, rules that if you don't respect them, you will receive errors simply easily. In this case, you should uh, start like this, for example, if I choose a little bigger line, you know, I like this. You need to define a variable like I to put your image in it, then your function in read, then it's parenthesis and apostrophe and name of the image, okay? dot the extension of the image for example jpg apostrophe parenthesis so if you follow just exactly these rules we will read our image without any problem first i have started a little slow i know this but um, as this is the basic course for matlab i i should be a little slow here and uh, justice is for encouraging you just not to worry about it it is not really complicated but if we just respect some rules like this we will code easily and simply and without any problem so let's see this in matlab so don't forget to put your image in the directory here okay in your directory on the computer open the file and just paste your image here so we come and write it i equal to imread apostrophe name of the image extension of it and go so here you see that your image has been read and the information is shown here you see that this is workspace workspace is the place that your variables your information your images are temporary there and you can see them with a little short and just summarized information here here it tells us that this image is 660 by 660 by 3 and this is the type of the image u int 8 unit integer 8 all right so now again i just read this instruction and i put a semicolon here this avoids showing all the data here so i just press enter and you see that the image is read and the information of the image inside of the image is not shown anymore so this is very good for coding from now just you use a semicolon after your function and after execution you won't uh, show the results out all right the next step is to show our image so what is the function for it is im show so im show what here if i should write im show kid.jpg or im show i of course the answer is i because we read the image before we have saved it in i and now i just call i intro i so it takes a little time but 
it shows our image here all right so here uh, just I want to say that uh, if you double click on this you see your uh, because it is uh, three by three we cannot show it however uh, we have the information of it here you see that all line by line column by, by column the information has been presented and this is our image so if you have a started image processing now and this is the first day just i i will tell you that what is an image in fact an image is just like a matrix as here matlab is showing and in this image that is like a matrix and we have some pixels beside each other like this you see that any of these pixels has a value all right so for example you have here zero you have here zero you have here zero you have here zero so how this can be an image we say that if our pixels are zero it means that this is a black area because the intensity value is zero on the other side if here you have one you have one you have one you have one here and here one one so here you have a white area a white area so if we have for example one here one here one here one here and zero 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 you will understand now that this is like a checkerboard we have areas that are black and opposite areas that are white so this is how we uh, save the data of the image and how we show the data now let's show a gray image instead of an RGB image CLC by CLC just I cleaned the command window all right so this time I say G equal to in read rice that PNG now you understand that this function will not work because I missed the apostrophes I put the apostrophes I read G G is here and you understand that this is not RGB because it has just one layer and it is 256 by 256 so this is a gray image and now just I need to show G by Imsho you see that this is a gray image so like this checkerboard that we said that every pixel has a value so let's check the values of the pixels here I come to edit I come to tools and I choose um, pixel region so I can use im tool g this is just like im show plus it gives you some abilities some tools to work with your image so I enter and 
here I come to tools I choose pixel region and it you have the magnification of this small area even you can push it somewhere else all right if I push it here on this rise or on the edge of it okay you see that we have values between 0 and 255 because the uh, class of data is integer 8 okay it means that 8 bits of data for each pixel in this case you have 256 values between 0 and 255 so you see that if it is white and more bright the values are higher 191 184 but if it is a darker area the values are smaller for example if we come to this region for sure the values are so small so you see 45 47 46 all right so now you have some tools to read your images and to get some information about them uh, and here also you could see the values of pixels all right so we uh, also talked about uh, data types all right and you see that here uh, this is the data type of integer 8 you can also in uh, the documentation of MATLAB check for other classes of data because this can be very helpful for you to uh, understand how to uh, save the data how to uh, use different kinds of data and how to uh, 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 change and convert uh, different data, data types together for example you see we have here also integer 8 u integer 16 and other types for example here I made an example for you with 0 and 1 if you want in some applications you can change your uh, u int integer 8 to a double class that the values are between 0 and 1 here in u integer 8 I can come and put a new one so for this class of data u int 8 your values will be between 0 to 255 it means that 0 is black pure black 255 will be white pure white if you use a class of double so the values will be between 0 and 1 this time 1 is white so a level of gray that here is 100 here it can be for example 0.43 okay so let's check this on MATLAB for example I say I1 equal to im2 double I so if you look at I1 you see that the class of it is double so now I can say in tool I1 and check the values for example pixel region and you will see that for each layer 
RGB, the values are between uh, 0 and 1. For example, if I come to a region that has some black, you will see that they are close to 0. All right. So this this image that we are showing here, image I, is an RGB image. That is a color image. So if you want to change it, just you can use RGB to gray I and him show i3 you see that now matlab with some transformations change the rgb image to a gray image for you also it is possible to use it uh, to change it sorry your image to a binary image for example i say i4 is equal to RGB to VWI. So it says that I received an error. I think I need to use im to BW and it works. So im show i4. You see that just you have two values and uh, MATLAB changed your image to a binary image, 0 and 1. But for double, remember that you have uh, different levels of gray between 0 and 1. But in binary image, just you have 0 and 1, two values. All right, it was a very good start and uh, now you know that uh, your uh, photo or your image, when you read it, you have these values between 0 and 255. And the idea is that this comes from the uh, fact that for each pixel you have uh, one byte of data that includes eight bits okay okay seven eight so you have eight bits for saving your information This is, uh, in fact, uh, pretty clear that now you know that uh, your data here, uh, as this is uh, bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, bit 4, 5, 6, and 7. Of course, you know that uh, now that we are saving our data, in this form, u integer 8, the most important part of the information is the high bits. And the least part of information that um, are being saved and we have are uh, the first bits. In this case, uh, it is also, uh, you can, you can also uh, test this on MATLAB uh, as a practice uh, and you can turn off some bits to see what kind of information we lose in lower bits, what kind of information we lose in higher bits. For example, we can open a file to write our program. So simply by writing edit and entering you open a place to write your code so this is a good practice for us to a little bit code in MATLAB in edit of MATLAB so let's start with CLC and clear 
So CLC that cleaned the command window and clear clears the workspace for us. This helps us not to use uh, previous data and not to be mistaken. So I just uh, read the previous image that is um, kid that jpg I name it I or IMG IMG that is very um, common in image processing so I can uh, change this to a gray image IMG and now uh, I want to turn off uh, for example the first four bits uh, of the image and show the result so I say for counter equal to uh, here you should use brackets okay I say one two three four and here with end you should close your loop so I say I mg1 equal to bit set this is the function that I use it for setting some bits a specific value that I want so I say call img and you see that uh, MATLAB is proposing me the variable that is ready and just you can by uh, right row you can use it and accept it and uh, the value is after so you say in this image these bits put them to this value semicolon okay after that is end and in show uh, the result that is img1 okay so if i just run it i need to save it i save it as example uh, i think 255 so you see that we have missed and we have lost some data in our image you see that some uh, data of the image uh, have been uh, lost but we said that higher uh, bits are more important set so let's set uh, for example uh, uh, um, seventh and eighth bit to zero and execute again and you see that um, higher values and white values have been lost all right this as an example a basic example just uh, to play a little with the beats and uh, with some classes of images that are very uh, common and popular to use after this maybe you need to save your image okay so this image that was the result now you can just save it by imright now maybe you can guess how we can use imright all right if not you should never be worried about it and just go to uh, documentation of matlab for example now i search for imright I go to this function and you will see that it is imright parenthesis a and file name all right very easy you can do it and no need to worry about it so which image was the result this is here img1 img1 and i can write it like with this name test one uh, dot jpg 
again with extension and you please uh, press enter and if you come here uh, it is a little bit hard <laughs> to find uh, this image in my uh, directory as it is full so this it's here test one that jpg and if i read it i can just with upper arrow you can choose the previous uh, functions that you have used and i write it as i read it as t test one dot jpg and in show t so you have this image that has been saved so um, another function that can be helpful for today uh, I think is size that um, just simply easily we say size um, I mg um, here in fact no you know the size okay so let's test this uh, why I'm um, writing the function because if you code um, you need to extract the size of your image and it is not like just looking at it here all right so it is important so you say size img and it gives you 660 by 660 or even you can say img and one so just it gives you the number of lines okay or you can say img and two and it gives you the number of columns all right also another function that can be helpful is whose you can write whose img and it gives you uh, the size of the image and uh, the number of bytes and the class of it that is very important another function also that you can get the information of the, an image is inf info and just you need to write the name of the image however the complete name all right if you write img you will receive error in this case you need to write it completely for example i say kid that jpg you have all the information uh, that is necessary for using this image all right uh, i think this is enough for this episode and you can um, practice with some images don't hesitate to um, use these functions and little play with them with these different kinds of extensions and uh, check the information check the pixels uh, also change uh, these um, classes of data that they have been used and see the results and when you are ready in next episode we uh, will do some pre-processings uh, on our images see you soon